often wonder what it would have been like for those people holidaying in Enoshima that day. It's the 1970s, you're enjoying an ice cream and suddenly, a high schooler speeds down the road on his motorbike. It's nothing particularly noteworthy, until you see the sparks. Lit fireworks strapped to the bike, ready to explode. And before you even have time to comprehend what's happening, 50 fireworks launch into dazzling spectacle, twisting and turning, spiralling into the sky behind the bike. What people saw that day was the very first Eternal Circus. That high schooler was animator Ichiro Atano, and this was the moment that inspired him to change up the way mecha battles progress, creating these living battlefields where mechs dashed about, avoiding an overbearing amount of incoming missiles. Due to its early appearances in Macross, it has been referred to as the Macross Missile Massacre. But when one animator takes a step forward, so does the rest of the industry, and the Eternal Circus has taken on a life of its own, as animators across the past 30 years attempt to replicate that excitement on screen. It is one of the most appealing techniques within action animation. The overwhelming amount of homing missiles captured in just a single frame shows a level of desperation from the one firing them. So there's no need to show the character angrily shouting. All you need is to see hundreds of missiles spiralling around in the hopes that just one of them will find its target. But for me, the best Eternal Circuses are the ones where the good guy gets away. At that point, it's no longer a fit of anger and desperation, but it instead becomes a battle between power and skill. A huge part of why we watch action is to see our favourite heroes prevail, despite the odds. And this is only amplified when those odds become 50 homing missiles within an enclosed space. This technique isn't just unique to 2D animation either. In 2010, Ichiro Atano noted that thanks to developments in 3D, the Atano Circus and other 2D animation skills have become more easily transferable to other media. For example, there was a moment like this in the first episode of Gundam The Origin, the film Expelled from Paradise, and yes, even the opening to Sonic Unleashed. It was initially a way to make 2D scenes feel more like they existed within a 3D space, but even after 30 years, it still remains as relevant today, even within series that were already 3D to begin with. The Eternal Circus changed action scenes in the 1980s, and it's continuing to make anime more exciting right now in 2017.